सरदारक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे Allow me to recognize the presence of the Vice Chancellor of TCU in Nigeria, Prof. Dean Sonny, the Registrar of TCU, Professor Majusan Singh, the Dean, Student Welfare. Yes, please clap, please clap. The Dean, Student Welfare, Professor Hess Indo. Of course, our own father in India, the Dean of Office of International Affairs, Professor Prabhu Kumar. <laughs> the faculty advisor of TTU ISS in Asia, Dr. Rituraj. <laughs> also, the co faculty advisor of TTU ISS, Dr. Chavin Dima. <laughs> All beings and HODs. All OI coordinators, and of course, our own very own Vice President of TTOISS, Mr. Rabi Kumar Rajinde. Thank you to all of you. I, on behalf of Delhi Technological University, extend a very warm welcome to all newly admitted students, international students to Delhi Technological University. I am very happy to see you all here together. Uh, I have come to know that first year and second year students are mainly present here. But you will happy to know that you are not only 100, 200 people here, but you are around 600 in this. Um, whom, they, whom should they approach? But the group is uh, big and at the same time, they know the Indian culture, so that will be easy for them to manage. But for international students, this problem were there were problems. They they do not know where to look into, where to uh, whom to talk, so that it can be sorted. Mostly problem will be very small. But if it is not approached from the correct position, it will not work. And they have planned lot of things because there are lot of issues. Because actually we have started inducting international students recently, and. Of course, if you start something, there will be a lot of issues coming along with that. Every issue we will not be able to solve on the first day itself. So such kind of issues were there. When the students are coming, how they will reach here, and then later, how we will take care of them. And the students also, even the other students also, like the Indian students also, have a problem initially, how to find what they are going to do. They said that, they will, first thing is they will support us in sending all the information related to DTU in, globally so that students can apply to this institute as per their eligibility and as per their interest. That was the first thing they said. And the second thing what they said was they will definitely when once they get into it, get the admission then they will be, somebody will be licensing with those students so that when they come to India, they can come, to, they will help them to reach DTU and in DTU also initial accommodation will be given and later it can be uh, taken care of. And the third thing they said that there are a lot of academic issues like uh, sometimes the registration, they may do registration but they do not know where the classrooms, so many, actually it is available in the website. I must thank Madam Hindu and uh, you like inviting for this invitation although it was little uh, means like weird but anyway i welcome all of you to this great uh, institution you know since ages we have the philosophy like vasudhev kutumbakam which means the entire world is our own brother and sisters okay so in this uh, function, I just want to give you some of the glimpses of our international office. We have around eight coordinators, as Yola said very clearly, working day and night. Yes, we are doing for your betterment. And you could have 
seen these changes uh, in these six months that how international office and their faculty members are behaving with you. What Yola said, I was just reiterating that do whatever you wish to do, but try to become a good citizen and do not break any rule and laws. So if I, I, I don't believe in, uh, in the relation, but rather I believe making some relation which is based on the friendship. You said that I am like a father figure. I don't want to become father figure for all of you, but I definitely want to become friend for you. But at the same time, we should think, we should think how to maintain the discipline, decorum and sanctity of this great institution. You probably know, uh, know, I don't know whether you knew this fact or not, but this university is the oldest one in the North India. So at the same time, you should maintain the dictum of this university. Most of you, you, you know, we have 380 seats in this institution every year. We have, it means like intake of uh, foreign nationals. So at the same time, it is also your duty to maintain everything possible which is for the favor of this country, for the favor of this institution. You know, this, we have the DTU ISS Society who has done splendid work this year because I, never, I did not know about this DTU ISS Society prior to my induction in this uh, uh, International Affairs Office. But this time they did the phenomenal work and I must congratulate all the team members. Even if you have a slight or small questions, I think it's not necessary to directly come to the Dean of Student Welfare or to me or to our coordinators. Rather, you should ask these questions to your uh, society because they are very equipped in dealing most of the things. So they will definitely help you. And please, I also have one issue that I want to discuss in this forum, although this is not necessary in the beginning, because I have got the clear-cut instruction from the ICCR that if a student will, be in, uh, will indulge in any wrong activity like UFM, unfair means, please report us immediately. What does it mean? That if you came here, just enjoy the place, enjoy the food, enjoy the culture, and on top of that, enjoy your study. And do not do an unnecessary thing which is not required. We are here, means uh, soon we will also organize a big program also, and I definitely <coughs> wish that you all should vividly participate in that program. So I once again welcome all of you, and thanks to Madam Sir, who has given me this opportunity. Thanks a lot.